Good afternoon, everybody. It's Dr. Scott Keller uh, coming at you from Synergy Chiropractic Spine and Joint Center. Um, we're going to change gears um, from here on out here for a while. So we've been focusing in the last few months on mobility, which obviously we all know is super important. We started down in the ankle and worked our way up. We just finished up with the shoulder. So first and foremost, I'd really encourage all you guys to continue to do a lot of that mobility. I mean, uh, you know, I know we've been focusing on one thing per week, but to combine a lot of that stuff, most of us obviously need work in all those areas. Um, now, like I said, we're going to change gears, I guess, to put this simply, not to go into too much detail. Um, tightness is definitely one thing as far as that limits range of motion and limits our performance. But a lot of times, um, tightness issues or lack of range of motion issues come from instability in certain joints throughout our body. And there are uh, specific main um, segments that we're going to focus on. Once again, we're going to start at the bottom and work our way up. Now, the coaches are going to encourage you guys to kind of pair some of these stability drills um, with some mobility that we've done in the past. And I'll kind of try to remember to mention in these videos as well kind of what to, to pair with what we're doing. Um, so we're going to start down in the feet today. First thing you're going to do is kick off your shoes. All right, these drills are kind of best done in bare feet. So at the gym, you can work on these before and after workouts. At home, obviously, it's easy to do that as well. Um, what we're going to do uh, and want you to do before the wad of the day is really loosen up the back of the calves and the dorsiflexion motion in our ankle, kind of that motion of lifting your toes up towards your knees. So just a quick refresh, refresher, I'm not going to go over the specific drills, but you could use a foam roller on the soleus muscle down here, the calf muscle up here, the gastroc muscle up here. Um, you could use the barbell. Once again, we kind of showed how to roll out on the barbell as well. And then for dorsiflexion, um, kind of the joint motion after you get those soft tissues loosened up. Um, if you guys remember using the green band and you know you hook it to the bar behind you, have the band around your ankle, and you can even do you know dorsiflexion drills like that, or even on the ground with that band hooked around and really to work that dorsiflexion. So those would be great exercises to do before the following. Um, what we're going to do today is some stability um, things for the bottom of the foot. So I cannot tell you guys uh, how important the feet are in just proper mechanics. I mean, if you go wrong in the feet and the ankles, um, it's going to translate up the rest of the body. So just as one example, in a squat, okay, so we should maintain synergy through the whole bottom of our foot and have all these muscles activated. If we don't, a lot of us drop into overpronation, or basically what that means is the arch of the foot kind of collapses towards the floor. And if you watch carefully, watch what happens to my knees and my hips if I let my arches fall towards the floor. Simply that, okay? So if I just let my arches fall, my knees cave inwards and my hips kind of go in to an internally rotated position. So if you're kind of one of those people that has trouble squatting like this, it may not always be a hip issue. You might want to start with some stability drills in your feet, okay? And on the opposite end of that, we always hear the cue, knees out, knees out. And that's a great cue to use, but you don't want to overcorrect either. So if I try to drive my knees too far out, we're putting too much external rotation in my hips. And if I roll up on the outside of my feet, you can see the inside of my foot lifts off the ground and we're going to lose power through our posterior chain. Okay, so simple drills to do today. They're kind of balance, coordination, and activation of those muscles on the bottom of the foot. Okay, so what we're going to hear, you'll hear me throw this term out, is the tripod of the foot. The tripod of the foot means the base of the big toe, the base of the little toe, and then the inner kind of backside of the heel here. So we form this triangle or this tripod. Essentially, what you want to do in a squat, a deadlift, anything where your feet are on the ground here, is maintain equal distribution of weight between those three points. So the whole way through my squat, I should feel weight here, here, and on the back of my heel, okay? And I should feel like those muscles in the bottom of my foot kind of pull my arch up a little bit. Not to the point where we're rolling out, but definitely not collapsing either, okay? So just practice getting that position and kind of feeling that first. And then the next thing we're going to do is go onto one leg, okay? Just try to balance on that one foot, you know, trying to keep the distribution of weight between those, uh, those three points. And then we're just going to simply do a little quarter squat. So make sure you use your hip and just kind of work on balancing and not letting that knee cave in, bounce out. And obviously, I just got done working out, so I'm pretty fatigued. 
Um, you can tell by how much I'm sweating, but basically trying to do just little quarter squats, maintaining the synergy between those three points, okay? Next thing we're gonna do um, is basically put the foot back and do a backwards lunge. So kind of reach back with that back foot, and once again, just kind of a quarter squat. Do 10 reps of each of these. Forgot to say that before, but just maintain the balance between all three of those points, okay? Now it's a little more challenging. We're gonna go up on all feet, have this knee bent up to 90 degree angles, and then try to twist and rotate that femur or that knee out. Once again, you shouldn't be rolling on the outside of your foot. You shouldn't be collapsing in. You should maintain those three points of pressure throughout the entire movement. So just kind of like that, okay? As you can see, a little shaky. I obviously need to work on this as well. So just like that, give me 10 repetitions on each side, maintaining that proper activation in the bottom of the foot, okay? Think about this when you're lifting, okay? So when you're doing a deadlift, same thing. All that weight should be distributed between those three points and push through as you push through the floor. As I said earlier, same thing with the squat. All right, if you guys have any questions, Scott at SynergyLincoln.com. Um, hopefully coaches, that all make sense. If you guys have any questions, give me a holler as well. Good luck with this one this week.